Hey everyone, I am back in town. I have not started the car yet. Um, I just got in. It's been about almost two weeks since I have used this car. So it's been sitting, no tender, no nothing. I'm putting my foot on the brake. Pressing power now. It starts right up. So it's been just about two weeks since we used this car and so far seems good. Welcome back everyone. So as, as you saw in the first clip, the car has been fine. Uh, it's, it's sat around for about um, 12 days or so um, and started right up and is has been two days since and it's been fine. But um, I wanted to, I just did a double check on the card uh Mirai fuel card balance and i'm right around nine thousand dollars left and since my last video on how to check the card i think i was about at eleven thousand um but it's i just did very very rough math and kind of the frequency at which we um fill up it's Currently, I, I took the current price at $36. Obviously, that has been extremely variable um, over our ownership of the car. So this is strictly using um, the hydrogen prices at the moment. And $36 a kilogram, the car takes about 5.5 kilograms uh, to fill up. And we fill up about two times a month, roughly, sometimes three, but generally speaking, I think for full tanks, uh, about two times a month, which is pretty low because we don't commute anywhere for work. We work from home, which, um, which is very nice from a cost savings perspective from a hydrogen, or deplete, I guess it, it reduces the depletion of the car. But anyway, uh, two times a, a month um, I think the math was like almost $200 for a full tank 5.5 times 36 um, which is crazy but anyway with that math in mind I believe um, that came out to just shy with the frequency of two times a month just shy, just shy of two years remaining on our card if we fill up um, if we fill up two times a month at $36 a kilogram and at the current rate, growth rate of hydrogen, um, I don't see that staying at $36 a kilogram. I have no, I'm not looking into the science, the politics, the economics of everything. Just if you strictly just look at hydrogen prices, um, yeah, like you can only think it can only go up. I've never seen it go down in my ownership. Um, I started at, when we first got the car, uh, price was around $17 a kilogram now at 36. So um, just based on that alone, we have roughly just shy of two years uh, remaining of owning this vehicle. And you heard me right. I said owning this vehicle because once that fuel cart is done, um, this car is out of here. It just doesn't make any financial sense to pay for hydrogen on your own for you're paying almost $200 for what like for those you hyper milers like 400 sure but i think for most of us um you're looking in the low 300s so it just doesn't make any sense um it you're there's not only infrastructure limitations um just say even if the infrastructure was operating the way it was supposed to um you can't go certain places um i think the biggest thing is the obviously the price uh, per mile um, and a lot of compromises with the car the car is amazing it is very luxurious for what it is it drives really well but um, the little things like you can't fold the back seats down uh, the cargo capacity is very limited and the car is heavy um, and then obviously the operating costs um, once you're kind of out of that Toyota care warranty type plan anyway I just want to make this video I just did this quick follow up on my balance uh and yeah um 
for those of you that are curious on how to check your balance, uh, I'll link a vi the video in the description. Um, you can do so there. Do some rough math calculations. Um, I mean, if you really want to get very, very detailed and do better projections, uh, you can look into the politics, the economics, the, the trends, the growth rate um, of the hydrogen prices, make some projections there, and then figure out based on those projections, the frequency at which you would, you can get as detailed as you want. I think I don't think it's even worth getting into that. Um, just get some ballparks unless you're really strapped for cash and you need to do it, go for it. But I just wanted to make this video. Um, yeah, I mean, I share everyone's pain. I think everyone, especially for those that commute, I don't share that pain, but I would imagine this being extremely frustrating if this is your primary means of transportation. But regardless, um, yeah, make sure you check in with your uh, fuel card. I do it every, I'm gonna try to do it every couple months uh, just so I can have updated projections, just so I can set myself up financially um, to know when I need to unload this car and then we need to start shopping around for other cars. So. Um, make sure to do that. All I do is call that number. I think it's number four for checking your balance. And then you type in your full, um, card number and it usually gives it to you right away. So there's that. And then, um, yeah, see you on the next one. I am going to do a video of why, um, I brought this car in the first place. All these videos are essentially bashing mainly the infrastructure. Um, but the car itself, um, a little teaser, when, when I bought the car, car mar the car market was still crazy. Um, new cars for a new like Toyota or like Toyota Corolla, Kia Soul. You get the idea, like the entry level uh, economy cars. They were priced, they were almost, they were kind of like touching $30,000 for a base model, which was absolutely absurd. So um, hence my journey to what would become the owner of a Toyota Mirai. But anyway, thank you for watching. Um, I know I haven't posted in a while, had some personal plans, but um, we will be, I will be posting more. If you have any questions um, or comments, please leave them in the comments below. I do read them, but uh, I probably won't respond. Uh, but yeah, so there you go. Uh, check your balance, make some projections and kind of plan for um, whether you want to keep the car, probably not, unless if you are, you're kind of crazy. Um, but go for it. Um, but if you don't keep it, just so you know when to possibly look for another car. So anyway, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.